Hello there, and there was a request for me to do a tutorial regarding this more aggressive sound out of uh, BBC Orchestra core version from Spitfire Audio. This is a very neat library which I thoroughly love. Uh, it uh, can do amazing things, but of course as every tool it has uh, its limitations. And one of these limitations is the lack of dynamic range or particularly upper dynamic range within, for example, horns. So no matter how hard you will try, it uh, stays quite soft and uh, uh, I tried to sort of distort the sound or change the EQ or something it didn't really work but then uh, I was watching a uh, interview uh, composers workshop sort of uh, thing from cine samples and the interview was with Dylan Hart a French horn player and he is sharing his experience and and, and his knowledge and uh, one sort of of the questions was you know uh, sort of opinion about the samples and the sample world and there is a very interesting thing which he says and I want to, uh, it, to show it to you Right so, uh, well, one of the difficulties, What's the difficulties in trying to imitate that is that the imitate sort of uh, uh, the sampled orchestra that uh, composers now write for, and now they sort of try to imitate that. Sample sound is generally used in a very aggressive manner. And so we have to blow really loud and edgy in order to get that tone. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times samples are mixed between some stopped horn and some open horn. And there I would like to stop. This is very interesting information actually because what that means is that uh, you can try to emulate these uh, sounds of other libraries by trying to to blend some stopped horn and some non-stopped horn open horn and uh, it is very wonderful that you have after the update these stopped horn articulations within brass of uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra Core and you can try to do that and if we take a look at uh, or take a listen at how it sounds naturally. This is just a staccatissimo patch straight out of the box vanilla BBC Symphony Orchestra Core. Uh, and I have made sort of a pre made a patch using four different patches, mixing uh, some stopped horn and some non stopped horn of A4 and solo uh, horn. It sounds like this. So it is infinitely more aggressive well not infinitely because uh, it is <laughs> finitely more aggressive but uh, it is a lot more aggressive and, and a lot more bitey and and it is not bitey in an in a natural way and it fits within sort of the bbc symphony orchestra sound which is really really nice and 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 what I really love about sort of this approach and uh, although it is not perfect but I think by applying Pareto principle it's really 80% way and uh, it's quite good sound and it works quite well maybe it wouldn't work really that well in in in, in uh, very exposed setting but if uh, in more dense orchestration just to give some power some girth from french horns for example or other instruments because this works for every instrument that that has this this uh, div division of, of articulations between uh, stopped uh, and open uh, brass instruments this works also so for this particular case i took uh, uh, staccatissimo samples of A4 and solo horns and uh, staccatissimo normal uh, let me now turn just 
uh, turn this on, turn this on, which is stopped horn. And uh, you can see my sort of a little bit radical EQ. Uh, and the explanation for that EQ is I tried to to make them sound as much as possible so for them to blend because if you take a listen to them without the EQ I love the sound it is really noble and and very fine and and this stop sound is very thin and nasally but if uh, you do a little bit of EQing you can get them to sound 80% uh, similar let's say and uh, when you blend them it's it blends really quite well within the room and everything and I have a, a few additional reverbs just to to spice things up you can also of course add the uh, solo horn to add a little bit more sort of uh, edginess and uh, definition and information because solo horn adds sort of more information which pops out a little bit more uh, the same th thing applies for uh, longs so you can take uh, a four quivery patch and then muted longs and combine them it has instantly a little bit more bite a little bit more aggressive the QV patch is not that bad to begin with but uh, but it can be you know pushed a little bit further and then of course uh, uh, you can add a little bit of help to that power using slight saturation which I'm here using quadrifaza uh, a sort of uh, multi-band fuzz not fuzz but distortion plugin and really subtle uh, saturation just uh, a little bit of harmonics throughout the range and that's basically it and you can compare this now this is we need to take that off which is nice I really like the sound but it doesn't really uh, apply for every situation uh, and then if you need you can construct these sort of you know amalgamation patches out of uh, a number of patches and you can really have the punch when you when you need it without buying any additional libraries and using what you already have which is really really nice and it is nice also in in, in such sense that you first of all of course save money uh, sec second of all know better your tools and third of all uh, the sound is cohesive so you stay within the BBC orchestra uh, thing and and uh, uh, that has its own sound and of course you can also stay with the Spitfire sound if you if you have other Spitfire libraries because I have tried uh, uh, VSL brass libraries from the Big Bang Orchestra although they were phenomenal really but the sound didn't blend and I didn't really, really love the, the way the, that stage sounds so this this avoids the problem of you know trying to blend different libraries which I also really really like so sort of you know shooting through ra three rabbits with one bullet uh, so I really hope that this can help uh, for uh, anyone who uh, would like to tinker a little bit instead of buying more and more libraries and try to solve the problems in you know I wouldn't like to say creative ways but uh, you know trying at least trying to do that because uh, you can always buy libraries uh, non-stop but you know sometimes it's really nice to also just stop doing that and just you know okay we have a problem how we solve it and there we go uh yep and that's it